You guys are important to me because you're from Baltimore, right? You know, I was recruiting you guys, and you guys are important to uh, Maryland basketball fans in Baltimore. So this is something you guys will see, uh, every fan will see uh, when they drive into uh, Baltimore. What? <laughs> oh. Appreciate that. Joe guys cool. right there. Yes, sir. Oh. So as you're driving into the city, everybody will see it. Oh, yeah, I'm about to tell my mother, bro. At the age of 19, having a billboard, not many people can never say in their life they'll have a billboard. And just being able to have one in your hometown was just amazing. Baltimore means a lot to me. Naturally, because it's somewhere where I come from, it made me the man that I am today. It's tough to make it out the pitfalls and just the things you see in life. But I was surrounded with the right people. My parents made sure I was always good. I'm proud to be from the city of Baltimore. It's always been a hotbed for basketball. Growing up, playing basketball, if you're usually pretty good in Baltimore, you, you have a, a, a reputation and a recognition but from other good players. They are a year apart. They obviously knew of each other. When I first met Jalen, he just looks like like a big geek. Uh, he's walking around with glasses on, like a big goofy kid. But I like that kid. Man, some potential in him. Right then and there, I knew that was somebody I want to look up to and somebody I want to model myself after. They just kind of clicked, you know, just their personalities, and their personalities are different. You know, I guess it was the. You know, maybe the opposites attract type thing. They're both very talented players, and I think they kind of looked at it like, hey, you know, we could do some really special things here. We ran everything. We beat the national powerhouses. We won like three, four championships. We was just kind of locked in, and it helped us for our future as well. I've always loved Baltimore, loved the state of Maryland. I just had this feeling in my heart that Maryland is where I needed to be. I'll be staying home with one I knew right away I, I wanted Jalen here with me. Knowing that he's here, my former teammate, pretty much my big brother, that just sealed the deal for me. For some, drives right, cut off, throws it to Jalen Smith for a three, and he hit it. I think it's very uncommon to see high school teammates go to the same school. It's really rare. Usually there's jealousies, and that just shows you how close they are. And there's times where Daryl could get really jealous of Sticks here, and he doesn't. He could have got jealous of him in high school. I think Daryl's senior year, Sticks was player of the year, and he wasn't. Daryl's not that way. Daryl's all about winning, and he loves him. At a young age, I had a tragedy. My brother passed away. I was probably like five, six years old. He was like nine, ten years old. Terrell was playing basketball, and he collapsed. And come to find out, he had a, a, a anomalous valve, or something, something he was born with that we knew nothing about. He passed away, and Daryl was dead. It was traumatic, man. He wouldn't talk about it. He just internalized it. I think one of the things that helped Daryl get through it is Jalen and his support, too. Once he got to high school, he had sticks to kind of, you know, show that, that brotherly love. I have seniority. Can I get the ball? Seniority. I don't keep, all right, go ahead, shoot right there. That's what, that's what ball right there. I really feel like I'm Jalen's, like, big brother with everything. There you go. You got to go all neck, too. Oh, you yes cannot it call did. it yes after it the shot. Yes you cannot did. call it. You called the left, no. You called the left hand after your no, shot. I, did. I said left hand before. All right, go ahead, shoot. Just knowing that I always have him in my corner and I'll always be in his corner, it's just, it's just a great thing because he's always been there for me. You didn't say left I hand. Said left hand. No, you didn't. And I love the responsibility. It's something that I didn't have. Well, I had it, but it went away at such a young age. Um, so I've always been somebody who's had that big brother mindset to look out for other people. 
I kind of love being that big brother figure for him. Those two truly love each other. You know, I say all the time, it's going to be really cool about 40 years from now, they're going to be sitting on a porch and talking and telling the same dumb jokes and making fun of each other. And I do think that Daryl's truly been a big brother to Jalen, but you can see that gap is closing, almost becoming twins maybe. <laughs> they're not that different. Both of them are silly and like having fun, messing with each other and all. You know, they, they love doing that. You say like a married couple, like an old man. <laughs> good game. No crime. Yes, good game. I ain't getting that. Game over. Good game, Sticks. So